the Cozy Direct Vent Wall Furnace Pilot Pro installation. This video will show the installation of the Pilot Pro Automatic Pilot Lighter on the following Cozy Direct Vent Wall Furnace models. Note, the CDV installation manual steps 1 through 3 regarding venting, gas supply, and wall installation of the CDV furnace must be followed exactly before installing Pilot Pro. In your manual, the Pilot Pro installation instructions will begin on page 11 with step 4. Double check to make sure steps 1 through 3 in the manual have been followed before continuing the Pilot Pro installation. In your manual, the Pilot Pro instructions will begin on different pages depending on which model of CDV you have. For model CDV 155, continue here. For models 255 and 305, skip ahead to the alternate step 5, beginning at around the 3 minute and 10 second mark in this video. Step 5A. Connecting the Pilot Pro wires. Find the three connection terminals at the base of the heater IID valve. Find the green, orange, and black wires that are together on one end of the wiring harness. Connect the green TH wire to the TH terminal of the valve. Connect the black TP wire to the TP terminal of the valve. And the orange THTP wire to the THTP terminal of the valve. Note, ensure that all of the connections are tightened firmly. Step 5B. On the inside of the CDV, locate the flame sensor and igniter. Plug the flame sensor into one end of the flame sensor wire. Then, plug the orange igniter wire into the igniter. Step 5C. Choose which side of your heater will best accommodate the Pilot Pro attachment. It can be installed on your choice of either the left or right side. Be sure to allow room for future removal of the Pilot Pro cover. And do not install the Pilot Pro more than 10 inches from the base of the heater. Step 5D. The wires should appear as shown here. Locate the cable ties within the hardware bag. Step 6. Depending which side the Pilot Pro will be installed on, follow the instructions for a right or left side install. In this video, we'll be doing the right side install. Bundle and loop the wires, neatly settling them on the valve bracket. Allow the free ends of the wires to extend to the right approximately 16 inches from the rear of the valve bracket. Warning, ensure the wires do not touch the combustion chamber. Bundle and secure the wires to each end of the valve bracket with two cable ties as shown. Alternate Step 5 Connecting the Pilot Pro wires on the CDV255 and CDV305 Find the three connection terminals at the base of the heater IID valve. Find the green, orange, and black wires that are together on one end of the wiring harness. Connect the orange THTP wire to the THTP terminal of the valve. Connect the black TP wire to the TP terminal of the valve. And connect the green TH wire to the TH terminal of the valve. Note, ensure that all of the connections are tightened firmly. Alternate Step 5B. On the inside of the CDV, locate the flame sensor and igniter. Plug the flame sensor into one end of the flame sensor wire and plug the orange igniter wire into the igniter. Alternate Step 5C. Choose which side of your heater will best accommodate the Pilot Pro attachment. Pilot Pro can be installed on your choice of the left or right side. Be sure to allow room for future removal of the Pilot Pro cover, and do not install the Pilot Pro more than 10 inches from the base of the heater. Alternate Step 5D. The wires should appear as shown here. Locate the cable ties within the hardware bag. The Pilot Pro can be installed on either the right or left side. For the CDV255 and CDV305, we will be installing the Pilot Pro on the left side. Warning, ensure the wires do not touch the combustion chamber. Alternate Step 6. Bundle the wires together and pull them towards the left side of the unit. Allow the free ends of the wires to extend approximately 16 inches from the edge of the heat shield. Connect the wires to the left side of the lower heat shield with a cable tie. 
then secure the hanging wires to the lower heat shield directly below the burner sight glass with a cable tie. From this step forward, the Pilot Pro installation is the same for all Cozy CDV furnace units. Step 7. Plug the main wiring harness into the control module with the clip facing outward as shown here. Step 8. Add the protective wire sleeves to both wires that extend from the battery pack and slide back the clear installation on both wires. Connect the red wire from the battery pack and the red wire from the wiring harness. Slide the electrical sleeve over the connection. Then connect the black wire from the battery pack to the black wire from the wiring harness. Slide the electrical sleeve over the connection. Step 9A. Connect the bare brown SWI wire from the control module wiring harness to the white thermostat wire using a wire nut. Step 9B. Connect the bare brown wire from the control module wiring harness to the red thermostat wire using a wire nut. Step 10A. Plug the orange wire from the igniter into the port labeled I on the control module as shown. Note, ensure it is firmly seated. Step 10B. Plug the black flame sensor wire into the port labeled S on the control module, as shown. Ensure it is also firmly seated. Note, the base of the connector terminal may be slightly exposed. Step 10C. Double check and ensure the wiring is done according to this diagram before going further. Step 11. Testing. Turn on all gas and electricity to the appliance. Conduct a gas leakage test of the appliance piping and control system downstream of the shutoff valve in the supply line to the appliance. A little bit of soap and water, as shown here, will work just fine, showing bubbles if there is a gas leak. Adjust the thermostat to the lowest setting. Then place two D batteries into the battery pack. Note, the initial startup of the Pilot Pro system may take several minutes due to air in the Pilot gas line. After turning up the thermostat, the igniter will begin to spark. After one minute, it will stop. If the Pilot does not light, lower the thermostat to off, then turn it back up. The igniter will then start to spark again. Repeat these steps until the Pilot lights and you can visually determine that the main burner is burning properly. The flame isn't too soft or too hard. Step 12. Ensure the igniter sparks only against the hood of the pilot. Look through the sight glass into the chamber. The igniter should not spark against the flame sensor, brackets, heating chamber, or burner. Adjust the igniter probe location if required. Note: Do not twist the igniter wire or break it from the ceramic base. And do not use a broken igniter. Step 13. Determine that the pilot is igniting and burning properly and that the main burner ignition is satisfactory by turning the thermostat off and back on. Make this determination with the appliance burner both cold and hot. Perform this step as many times as necessary to satisfy yourself that the automatic intermittent pilot system is operating properly. Sequence the appliance through at least three operating cycles. Check all furnace connections for gas leaks with leak detector solution, including the plug installed onto the valve body. Do not use an open flame to test for gas leaks. Step 14. Temporarily disconnect the wiring harness, orange igniter wire, and the black flame sensor wire. Also disconnect the red and black wires connecting the battery pack and the wiring harness. Step 15. Check inside of the housing for safety labels. Try to avoid drilling through any pertinent safety information during this step. Use the base of the Pilot Pro as a template for the following steps. Align the Pilot Pro very close to the back edge of the housing. Be sure to face the notch of the base of the Pilot Pro toward the wall. Using a marker or pencil, leave a mark on the metal housing for the three hole locations. Now be sure to set aside the mounting plate. Do not drill directly through the mounting plate as the drill may crack the mounting plate. Then drill the three holes into the housing unit using a 3 16 inch drill bit. Step 16. With a Phillips head screwdriver, attach the mounting plate to the side of the heater cabinet using three number eight screws and three number eight nuts. Do not use a power drill for this step. It could crack the mounting plate. Use the screwdriver and hand tighten only. 
Step 17. Place the cabinet onto the furnace. Note, loop the loose wiring around the back edge of the cabinet near the Pilot Pro. Step 18. Reconnect the Pilot Pro wiring to the control module, the igniter wire, the flame sensor wire, and the IID wiring harness. Step 19. Connect the black wire from the battery pack to the black wire from the wiring harness. Slide the protective electrical wire sleeve over the wire connection. Step 20. Connect the red wire from the battery pack and the red wire from the wiring harness. Then slide the protective electrical wire sleeve over the wire connection. Ensure the sleeve is centered on the connectors and secure in place with two cable ties. Trim the excess off the ends of the cable ties. Loop the remaining free wires through the notch on the mounting plate. Secure these wires in place with a cable tie through the mounting plate hole, as shown here. Step 21. Redirect any excess length of wire between the cabinet and wall, tucking them out of sight and neatly into the heater. Step 22. Slide the Pilot Pro cover in place, as shown, and secure in place with the two remaining bolts. Note, tighten in place by hand only. There are no tools necessary to remove and replace the cover on the Cozy Pilot Pro. For more information, visit CozyHeaters.com or call 855-589-5380.